Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us for another WHUC Sports 7 broadcast. I'm your host, Dejanae Antoine, and today, Heinz Community College is taking on Southwest Community College. Let's go, Eagles. And I'm your host, Christopher Ferris. Your Heinz Eagles are looking to bounce back after a devastating 3-21 loss to Jones College last week, but tonight, they have something to play for. That's right, Chris. Tonight, Heinz Eagles is showing all its support for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and I can't wait to get started. There was a sea of pink for Heinz annual breast cancer awareness games and your Eagles wore their pink with pride. The Eagles made quick work scoring in the first two minutes of their first drive with a touchdown by Jamarian Johnson. But Southwest struck back with a 12-place 71-yard drive of their own for a touchdown, ending the first quarter 7-7. In the second quarter, the Eagles took flight immediately, driving down the field to take the lead 14-7. The Eagles' defense was a brick wall, keeping Southwest at a standstill. The next drive, Jamarian Johnson once again scores at the goal line, completing his two-touchdown game. Next drive, the Eagles defense shine with a scoop and score, ending the first half 28-7. And that is a wrap of the first half of the game. I don't know if it's a new scoreboard or the pink out, but your Heinz Eagles put up a great performance. 28-7, dominant first half. Hey, Dejanae, I heard you've been hanging out with the crowd. What's going on up there? Hey, Chris, I'm here right now waiting for the bands to perform their halftime show. And while I was up here, I also met some really interesting people in the stands with a really interesting story. October is a very special month for breast cancer survivors. Throughout the month, many are encouraged to wear pink to show their love and support. Here at Heinz Community College, the Eagles are never afraid to show their love to the ones who need it. Band members, cheerleaders, and the high steppers did not just encourage the football players, but also honor breast cancer survivors with their pink accessories. Miss Melissa Stanley is a breast cancer survivor, and she shared what made her not give up. Oh, it was very scary, but I, I knew up, upstairs was helping me, taking me in the, on this journey, and I have good friends, and it helps tremendously. Dylan Stanley is the son of Miss Melissa Stanley, and here's what he had to say about his mom. I'm happy for her to still be here with me so she can be here and support me at all my games. And if things had gone differently with her breast cancer, it's, it would be a different life for me today. We also interviewed Miss Christy Rivera, who found out she had breast cancer while she was pregnant with her daughter. Um, well, I was actually told to either abort her or that I would put both of our lives in danger. And I said that Patrick I believe in God above, and we're either going to live together or we're going to die together. Julia Rivera is the daughter of Miss Christy Rivera, and she gave a very heartfelt speech about her mom. Because, you know, I wouldn't be here without her. So it's like, that's my day one right there. Like, I would do anything for that woman. And so I'm just blessed to be here and blessed that God gave me her as a mother. The Heinz Eagle Band did a phenomenal job tonight with their halftime show. Also, we heard many heart-wrenching stories from our breast cancer survivors, but they helped us highlight the night for Pink Out. Back to you, Chris. That's right, Dejanae. We're beginning our second half, but your Heinz Eagles continue to dominate. For the Bears. The second half is where this game hit the gas. After an initial defensive battle, the Bears pulled through, chopping away at that big lead 28-14. to Southwest defense rose from the dead, holding Heinz to zero points for the rest of the third quarter. With three minutes left in the third, Southwest forced to fumble for a scoop and score, creeping back 28-21, heading into the fourth quarter. The final quarter was a pure rock fight with both sides struggling to pull through. With 16 seconds left in the game, down seven points, Southwest ties the game, stunning the Eagles, coming back 21 points in two quarters. Heading into overtime, the Eagles' defense held strong, keeping hope alive after this wild ride of a game. And sure enough, quarterback Roman Mueller took it upon himself, sprinting to the end zone to bring home the W. We caught up with Coach Larry Williams, who told us how he felt after the hard fall. Yeah, win and win. You know, we gonna apologize for winning the ball game. Uh, you know, we find out about some of those second half. We didn't play well. We you know, made some teammates turnovers and stuff. We didn't come out there and match their attention like we want to do in the third quarter, like we preached uh, all half all half time. But you know, find a way to win. That's the thing about it. You just find a way to keep winning, keep winning. Three and one division play. Coach Williams also shared what this game meant to him personally. You know, I say, you know, breast cancer, you know, I have a sister pass away from it a couple years ago. And, you know, parents, you know, so, so that means a lot to me. Uh, I know we have some kids, some parents, you know, kind of there, but, you know, we, we want to keep on supporting them and keep on, you know, they let them know we are still in our prayers. Jaden Reed shares what he believes brought the Eagles to win tonight. I think we all just played together, played as a team, did our, did our job. 
We came together as a team at the end. Quarterback Roman Eula shared with us what the pink game meant to the team. Yeah, it definitely meant a little bit more tonight, you know, playing here for breast cancer awareness, the pink game. It's always a special night. And, uh, but yeah, really glad that we could get a win at home, especially with that, you know, occasion going on. Well, that's the ref. Heinz Eagles tore down the Southwest Bears tonight. Not only did they leave their hearts out on the field, but they also gave their hearts to the breast cancer survivors tonight. Another one for the history of folks. What a nail biter. For the final score of 34 to 28, woo, it was a doozy. I'm Dejanae Antoine. And I'm Christopher Ferris with WHUC Sports 7. Let's go, Eagles.